Your sweat is your body's personal cooling system designed to keep your temperature normal even during very hot summer days. But as nothing in life is truly perfect, even this very advanced cooling system comes with a downside. Sweat can smell so bad that it can also double as a human distancing mechanism because nobody wants to be near a very stinky and slimy person. But not all sweat is created equal. You could be sweating on your forearm or your back and it will smell but nothing compares to the repulsive and pungent smell that the sweat inside our armpits has. So if you ever wondered why is armpit sweat so much smelly compared to other types of sweat then you are in the right spot because my name is Andrew Dandrew and I am on a mission to search this entire universe for answers to the most important questions like why do dogs pee on car tires and explain the answers to you like you are five. So let's find out why is armpit sweat so much smelly compared to other types of sweat. Sweat is a fluid that is produced by some very tiny sweat glands that cover your entire body. It is made mostly out of water with some tiny traces of minerals, lactic acid and urea. If your brain detects that your body is overheating, it sends a signal to the sweat glands that then produce the sweat which evaporates and cools the body. But there are two types of sweat glands, the eccrine glands and the apocrine glands. And the latter secrete a more oily sweat that is full of protein and fats. Most of your body is covered in eccrine glands, but there are a few spots that are abundant in apocrine glands, such as the armpits. Your skin is covered in many types of bacteria that love to eat the proteins and fats that are secreted by the armpit glands we just talked about. Moreover, armpits are usually hairy and hair means more surface area where bacteria can grow and sweat can accumulate. But as these bacteria eat the proteins and the fats found in that sweat, they produce waste substances, basically bacteria poop. And that's what makes the sweat so pungent and smelly. As the rest of our body is covered in eccrine glands that don't produce the same protein and fat rich sweat, there aren't as many bacteria living there, which don't produce as much bacteria poop. And that's why the rest of our body doesn't smell as bad as our armpits. We could also add that the armpit is, you know, a little bit underventilated, if that makes any sense. That could probably add to the problem. What's interesting though, is that the point of this smell seems to be to help us distinguish and identify family and closed ones from strangers. Each person has a unique bacterial fingerprint that produces a different smell. So in essence, we are like dogs sniffing the persons around us unconsciously. In reality, we all probably smell really bad, but it seems that we only find the smells of strangers repulsive, while, you know, the smell of closed ones and family actually makes us feel safe and feel better. With that knowledge under my belt, right now I feel like I want to take a shower and maybe put on some deodorant, but not before I encourage you to like the video if you enjoyed it and maybe subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified when I upload a new one. And with that being out of the way, until the next one, have an awesome day, night, whatever the case is, have an awesome week. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Andrew Dandrew and I will see you in the next one. I hit the mic, sorry for bumping your eardrum. Hopefully you weren't wearing headphones.